Hi guys, this is Duncan from Mob3.net and today we're taking a look at Alterius. This is a remote access tool that can be used via a web browser. It's free to download, I'll provide the download link in the description. And when you download it, you'll find yourself with this file here. Install it and you'll see this icon here. So go ahead and run it and down here you'll see this icon here. When you right click it, you have the options of restart server, open client, open settings and open logs. If you open the settings, you will have a JSON file. I assume it's trying to open it in Notepad++ or whatever. You can do that, but you just open the client and you'll notice straight away you can connect into it. This means that you don't have to sign up for accounts like you do with TeamViewer, like you do with LogMeIn, all that sort of stuff. This is done directly through your PC. So as you can see, it's doing 10.0.0.1, which is an internal IP address, local host as well. Um, if you're connecting from somewhere else, you'll need your public IP. And also if you need to, maybe the port forwarding, sort it out through your antivirus or anything like that. This is the default one, so 22007. I'm gonna click connect and it should connect into my PC. It's asking me for a password because this is my Windows user account. It will use whatever you use to log into Windows. So let me go ahead and put that in. And as you can see, we're greeted with a virtual task manager. So it tells me my CPU, my RAM, and my processors. So for example, your system is running slow. You can't get into it somehow. You just go here, see if the CPU is 100%, for example, and then close the offending process. Or you can run something on it as well, such as a script. So for example, if I do CMD and start, suddenly it pops up on my machine. Uh, if I was doing that from elsewhere, that means I can just run things remotely. Very nice. If we go to the system information, you'll see some basic stuff about the system. Uh, you can keep an eye on your temps here. You can see what speed you're running at and the status of your hard drives. Uh, if we go to the cameras, you'll see it's uh, got one built in. This one's a laptop that I'm actually using at the moment. You'll see how bad I look. Hello. Uh, the frame rate isn't fantastic, as you can see. Uh, frame rate of the camera is actually better than this in this lighting, but uh, that's pretty much what you see here. In the file system, you've got C drive and a D drive. Uh, bearing in mind that this is version one, by the way, it's a beta thing, so it's very simple at the moment, and that's what makes it so good. Uh, you see the C and D drive. Uh, if you have any CD drives or DVD ROM drives, whatever, um, that'll actually show as a folder as well. So it may be hard to distinguish if you don't know uh, what the drive letters are, and if you have any network drives assigned, that sort of stuff, it may just show as a normal folder. But if I go onto the C drive, I can upload files using the icon, or I can download something here, for example, just by clicking download. So nice and simple file sharing with your system. Now screen sharing, I can't really show you. Um, actually, I'll try and show you. We just need to hide the taskbar because unfortunately, um, if I go to go to the settings, you see the screen share password is right at the bottom. You can't actually scroll. So I don't think this is really designed for my resolution, which is 768 uh, in height. So I'm just going to type test in the... I actually don't think it's going to let me... No, it's not actually going to let me type in there either. So let's forget that. Okay, well, apparently it has screen share. Whether or not it works, I don't know. I can't seem to get it working. So uh, we'll leave that for the minute. And if we go to the terminal, uh, this is kind of like a command prompt. So if I do Arturius auth, and then I'll put my password in, which is my normal Windows password. This is very similar to a Windows command prompt. So it's not like a Unix terminal, because if you do ls, it pretty much tells you, I don't know what you're talking about. So um, one other thing I found on here, if you do slash w slash s, now normally this command would uh, show you a recursive list of everything you have on your system. So just run through every file you have. Uh, w basically means do it in a wide format. So if I do that, it's gonna try and do it for me. But normally you can press control C to break it or control break. Uh, you can't actually do that on this. This just runs forever. So I've pretty much got this stuck in a loop now until I disconnect. So probably a bad idea, but whatever. So. Alterius is quite a nice little thing that runs inside your browser. So for example, if you have multiple machines on a network, you can just go to each one really quickly, have them in a few tabs and check them out rather than using something heavy like TeamViewer or LogMeIn where you have to like go into the actual remote thing, sign up and all, do all this sort of stuff. Whereas you can just do it for a browser. So uh, I'll do a quick check here. It's uh, reasonably responsive. So I believe it can also be done via a phone. Uh, it's a little bit broken there, but you do have that hamburger menu. So it's pretty much responsive. So very nice. So that's about it really. Thanks for watching this video. You can see me over on mob3.net if you have some more suggestions for videos. Um, subscribe if you like these videos, uh, comment, rate, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.